Hi everyone, this is Judy from Judy's Handmade Creation. And today I'm sharing this poncho that I made. And this is a poncho that I made. I was demonstrating it the other day on the LK 150 knitting machine. It was a demo and I was making flat panels on it. And this is a stockinette stitch that I was doing on there. And I'll link that video at the end of this video so you can see what I'm talking about if you didn't see the video. And like I said, this was knitted on the LK150 knit machine. And this is two panels that I made. Two flat panels. And I guess this is about 18, 18 inch wide by 30 inch long I made two panels and I just sewed them together right here I'll show you where I sewed it together right here's where I sewed them together here and in the back they were sewed together two two panels and that's where I sewed the inside and yes I did use my sewing machine to sew it and this is a stockinette stitch. And I had made these fringes to go around it. I kept them even, even all the way around, like space in between. And I think I used three stitch, three um, three fringes for each uh place where I put them. And I wanted to make flat panel, a flat panel poncho because I've seen a lot of people making those, crocheting and all. And that's why I made this. But this one, I just put it on my knit machine and just went back and forth, back and forth on it and did a stockinette stitch. And that was the LK150 knit machine. And the yarn that I use is this mainstay yarn. That's the yarn I use. And this is the color right here. I don't know if you can see it, it looks kind of bleary. Well, that's the yarn that I use right there, and it's a gray yarn. And this is five dollars and I think forty-six cents at Walmart. It's a Walmart brand yarn. And I had started this in the morning, and by the evening, I had this all knitted up, and all the fringes made, and I worked on it about four hours. To complete it and one thing about a knit machine you can start a project in the morning and by the night you can have something to wear and that's what I like about a knit machine and yes everybody says it's cheating but you still have to use your hand to, to go back and forth and do the stitches and you can do other stitches. This is a stockinette stitch on the LK150. You can do a lace stitch, ham manipulate lace stitch, ham manipulate uh, braid stitch. I think there might be some other ones in the book that you can do. But this one here is a stockinette stitch. And this is a tight stitch, if you can see it. And see how nice the fringes look. And I had to take in, um, you know, knitting curls. So I had to press it, press, press it on a board to get it to lay flat. It sort of looks like it still curled a little bit, but it turned out pretty nice. And yes, most people don't think you can. You can sew up knitting, but I sew up my knitting all the time. 
and it doesn't look bad because I noticed when they make sweaters, factories make sweaters that you buy that's knitted and they're sewn. So if they can sew them, so do I sew them. And yes, this is be pretty, pretty long and big. It's pretty big and I really like the stitch that that knitting machine does. And it does a real nice stitch. And I, re I really like the outcome of this. I've never ever made a poncho on my knitting machine. I made sweaters, but never not a flat panel poncho. And this is the first one that I made. And I hope you like it. And I hope you're inspired. And bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is Judy. Today I'm using my LK150. I'm doing a flat panel, stocking that knitting on my knitting machine. And this is just going back and forth, making a flat panel. And this is a LK150 knit machine. And that's all about to it.